Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, we are going to discuss five ways to enhance or beautify your Google Forms. And I'll be using this assessment template for this video. So let's take a look at the first method, which is using a progress bar with your forms. You'll just need to go to settings at the top and scroll down to the presentation section. So I'll go ahead and expand it and let's turn on show progress bar. Let's go back to the questions. And now I'm going to add a few sections to make this form long enough. And once we have about five or six, we can go ahead and preview the form. So you'll notice that we now have a progress bar at the bottom. Now we can move on to number two, which is response validation. So let's scroll down to click on the email field and I'll click on options, then response validation. Now we have three additional options. Let's start with the first one. So this must be text and it must contain an email address. Now we can add custom error text. So let's say, please enter a valid email address. Okay. And now we can take a look at the preview. So let's see what happens when we enter an email address that's not formatted properly. It shows the error message that we set. Okay. So now we can move on to number three, which is customizing our theme. And this form is not plain. It's already customized. So I'll show you guys how to do it. You'll just need to click on this color palette icon and here you'll have a number of customization options. So you can change the font size and type for the header question and text. So here's an example where I'm changing the header font. So you can also go to the header section to make changes to your header image. You'll have access to a number of different images from this list and you can also make changes to your accent and background colors. So now we can discuss number four, which is the use of add-ons. So if we click on the options icon at the top and we click on add-ons at the bottom, we'll be taken to the marketplace where we can search for and install various add-ons. And one add-on that I know you will love is extended forms. So I'll click on extended forms here and on the next page, I'll click on install. I'll click continue, select a Google account, allow, done. So now we're done. I'll just click on the X. Let's click on the puzzle icon, then extended forms. And now we can click on configure and you should see a pop up in the bottom right hand corner. Turn it on. And if you see this error message, click on fix settings. All right. So extended forms lets you set a time limit by default. It's set to one minute but you can increase it by clicking on this plus icon. You can also restrict the number of times your quiz is attempted by the same person. There's also an auto submit option. So I'll save this. Then I'll go ahead and preview the form once it's done. Let's close this notice first. Now click on preview. And now we can click on get started. So here we can see our quiz with the timer. And once this timer runs out, the form will be submitted automatically. And once it's time to view your responses, you can do so on the extended forms dashboard. So right now we have no responses, but if we did, they would show up right here. And finally, at number five, we have a general recommendation, and that is to ask relevant questions. This should reduce the likelihood of receiving random responses out of frustration. Okay, so we have come to the end of this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.